Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am doing great from my end and I want to welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here kindly, remember to subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time we have a new video, you will be able to get notified. And for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate all of you. Let us be here to support Harry and Meghan and to defend them in whatever it comes. So I know I usually mention Angela Levine and you know it's not in the positive way. Just because Angela Levin is always talking of negativity, always hating on Harry and Meghan. And I just find it so weird seeing some people defending Angela Levin. You know, supporting Angela Levin will only bring you close to hell. Because Angela Levin is so evil that even her own late mother wished that she called Angela the devil instead of Angela. My people, you can really tell from all those kind of comments that she has always been making about Megan. And what actually I have been saying is that why don't we ladies support each other? Because I find it so bad that Angela Levin is hating on Megan more than Harry. I can say so. And it is so evident. So every single day, Angela Levin attacks Megan. Every day. She must mention a word about Megan. And you know, it's not even fair. It's sickening. To be honest, why don't you even take a break? Why don't you go get a life? And I am always here talking of the way I tend to believe as we grow older, we actually mature, we actually make some sense. And those are the people I am expecting to be advising younger people. And I always have that respect for some older people because those are the people who have some knowledge and they can advise us what to do and what not to do. But for Angela Levin, we are here seeing clearly that she is not even maturing. She's just growing old but not maturing in the mind. So I just saw this defense that why is Angela Levin facing backlash after mocking Sussex? The Duchess of Sussex. I'm like, you are asking. You are asking why Angela Levin is facing backlash. I think that is self-explanatory. If you really know Angela Levin and you watch it, and you watch her every single day, because Angela Levin is always criticizing Harry and Meghan. So once you do that, and people are so much aware that Harry and Meghan are some people making sense. They always make positivity. They always spread positivity and some good vibes. So whenever people realize that someone like Angela Levin is just coming here to lie about them, definitely what people do is to just defend Harry and Meghan and to call out Angela Levin for the criticism. All those comments that she makes on Harry and Meghan, especially Meghan. Definitely our own supporters will come here, will not allow even Angela Levin to say a word. And I am one of those. I can't allow Angela Levin to just be talking ill of Harry and Meghan and then we just rest the case. No way. It will be so bad that we allow her to continue attacking Harry and Meghan for this. And I remember there is this story, the most recent one, which was published by the Sky News. And you know, these people are talking of the way Prince Harry's comment was disturbing. So that is a comment. I don't really know the specific comment. But they said Prince Harry made a disturbing comment during his quasi-royal trip to Nigeria with Meghan. And that have horrified the royal family. I can't tell the real comment that Harry made and it hurt this royal family. So they are, uh, they are here to just make it 
a whole topic to just make it a whole issue. And yes, they have to because, you know, Harry and Meghan are some people of different standards. They can't match that of the royal family. And to be honest, Angela Levin is the one who was writing that article in Sky News. And I just saw that as part of it. Because first of all, that trip to Nigeria, as I have said, was nothing to do with the royal family. So they need to actually stop the mentioning that that royal trip was a mess. I don't know, a fake royal trip. They just need to stop that. Because at no point did Harry mention that they were going to represent the UK. They were not doing that. So as Angela Levin has said that that comment was disturbing and it have horrified the royal family. You know, first of all, I don't even want to look for that comment that Harry made, but I'm here to just say the royal family deserve to be horrified. Let them do. Why are they disturbed? If they really know that they are pure and they have no mistake, why tense? Why the tension? And these royalists actually are now becoming so much into Harry and Meghan. I thought this is going to even stop at some point, but I just feel like the hate is actually growing instead of declining. My people, let me also mention something that Angela Levine talked of, that Prince Harry is a spare in his own marriage to Meghan, that Meghan is a difficult woman. That is Angela Levine, the same, same woman, so that you can really understand why I am hating on her. I'm just tired of mentioning Angela Levine, but what do we do? We need to be here every day to protect Harry and Meghan, to call out the hate. So someone is coming in to say that Meghan is a difficult woman and Meghan and Harry have the best marriage. They are enjoying their marriage. They are in love. And nothing will change that. Anyway, the media is treating Megan so wild and they are ignoring the, the systemic racism that Megan faced in the royal family. That family is deeply problematic. Anyway, my people, what do you really have to say about that? Say something about Angela Levin because it's not even for the first time we are talking of this hate and we are not going to stop the same. I really hope someone can advise Angela Levin to take some time and just analyze how the royal family themselves are so racist and they need to even deal with their own issues before coming in for Meghan and Harry. All that is hate and my people, let us always be here. Just tell me in the comment section what you think about that and say something concerning Prince Harry's disturbing comments that have led to some horrified situations in the royal family. So that is all I had to share with you in this video. Allow me end it here. Thank you so much for watching up to the end. Remember to subscribe to our channel and also like this video. Until next time, it is a goodbye.